On that Good Friday afternoon, Jesus knew the minds and the hearts of his disciples. He knew that they were very frightened, very sad, very disappointed, and were in disbelief. They were, I can also say, were very much confused and at a loss. That their Lord and Master had been killed and dead forever that he is gone for, for good, and that they were in hiding because they were afraid of their own lives, thinking that they would be the next to be persecuted. So they went into hiding. Fortunately, while they were hiding, they were also praying as a group. And they were praying when Christ appeared to them the first time. And when he appeared to them, knowing their hearts and their minds, he assured them peace once again. Peace be with you. And he repeated that twice. And after that, he invited them to come and feel the nail marks on his body and also to put their fingers in their sight so as to be, become a believer that he, their Lord and Master, had truly rose from the grave that he came back to life. Thomas was one of the apostles, was not with the apostles the first time that Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, we have seen Jesus. He came back from the dead. And Thomas said, I will never believe unless I feel the nail marks on his body and put my fingers into, into his sight. And so the second time Jesus appeared to them, he assured them once again, peace. And then he invited Thomas. Thomas, come and feel the now marks on my body and put your fingers into my sight so that you become a believer and don't remain an unbeliever. So Thomas did, and when he did, he said, my, my God and my Lord, for he too became a believer. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus said to Thomas, have you come to believe because you have seen me rose from the dead? Blessed are those who have not seen yet have come to believe. Let us pray that we place our trust in God our faith and our faith will continue to deepen or grow. And let us always thank God for the gift of faith and for our salvation. The late Archbishop Fulton Sheen once said that for every Good Friday, there is also an Easter Sunday. So as followers of Christ in the world today, let us not be afraid, but trust Him who has conquered death, so that we too can have life eternal.